Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of Soul Chat, the conversation that goes deeper than the surface. You know, I'm so honored today. We're going to keep this short and sweet because we're going to have a lot of guests on this segment. It's called 15 Minutes of Fame. And the intention is bringing in amazing, wonderful people to share quick stories with you, quick motivation to help you go into 2023 on an amazing high vibrational note. Today, I have the amazing Jay Noland, who has a foundation of subconscious mind mastery and thought leadership, life confidence expert. Like I always thought I was confident, but I'm like, I need to be around him. <laughs> I thought I was confident. Uh, I ain't got nothing on Jay, okay? Jay Nolan is an accomplished entrepreneur and coach who has been dedicated, dedicating his life to helping others become successful in life and grow their business. Over the years, he has trained hundreds of thousands of people worldwide to develop supreme confidence and self-esteem. As a former professional baseball player, he naturally injects extreme discipline and focus, leading his clients to their success. Jay Nolan is also a loving husband, father, and philanthropist, supporting organizations that help women who have been victims of domestic abuse or trafficking and orphans in Kenya, Africa, which is why I love you so much. Like you love the women, okay? And it's not from this, you know, it's not from that other side, but just really six, right. helping women win. So thank you and welcome to the Soul Chat family. It's such an honor to have you here. Uh, I saw on one of your pages. I am, I am <laughs> extremely blessed to be here. You know, I love your light and your energy, Ebony. So Anything I can do to support, spread some more positivity, I'm all about that. Oh, and I know that to be true, like to the core, okay? People who speak it and, and they're about it. One of the things on your page is said, the greatest anti-aging product on the planet is happiness. And I love that so much because I noticed that as a teen, I used to look at old people and I was that young person who asked everyone <laughs> above me questions. And I noticed right. it didn't matter their diet. I mean, that stuff, all of that does matter. But I noticed the the older people who looked the youngest to me were always smiling. Yes. They were yes. always happy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we got some straight suitor questions for you today. This is Soul Chat. And we always talk about the story. That's like the main thing we always talk about. And I know everyone has a story. Some let them hold it back while others let them, you know, make it help them propel them to new levels. Tell us quickly, what is your story? Um, you know, two minutes or less. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm, you know, Ebony, I'm a country boy. You know, most people... <laughs> When they get around me and I tell them my back, you know, my background, I'm 54 years old at the time of this particular um, cast that we're doing here now. But I came from Kentucky off of a hog farm. And so I grew up in the slop, in the mud. Yeah, we we were we really lived off the land. And my granddad and my grandmother, they were like the staples in my life because, because my parents were nuts. They were crazy. <laughs> and I, it's hard to blame them. You know, they got married when my mom was 17. My dad was 19. Mm -hmm. And then they had me when my mom was uh, when my mom was 19. My dad was 21. Mm -hmm. So here goes these teenagers having a child. So they didn't know how to have a relationship. They were always arguing, always fighting. And I found myself always at my grandparents' house out on the farm with my granddad. So I came up from the land. But my granddad, he would always tell me, boy, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I always, when I look back on it, now that he's been gone for over 22 years, it just just amazes me to to know that I had someone that from a financial standpoint, he considered himself poor, but we were so wealthy in love. And we my grandparents were always laughing and cutting up. And my granddad would come in the kitchen and my grandma would be cooking. He'd walk up and he'd do a little dance with it. Come on out of me. Let's dance, you know. <laughs> and so every all the kids, we picked up that energy early on of, hey, y'all could do anything. You know, always find a way to have a great time. Family is everything. So I grew up with that. And I just think with that gave me enough boost to get around some good coaching, play professional sports. And I got an opportunity, like I say, to play professional baseball for six years. Blew my elbow out in 1995. And that's what pushed me into entrepreneurship and personal growth. So I found about found out about books like Think and Grow Rich, The Science of Getting Rich, How to Win Friends, Influence People. I started studying those books and that turned everything in my life around. And I took the, the discipline, Ebony, of becoming a professional athlete because it's extreme discipline. I put that into personal growth and into entrepreneurship. And I've been able to do business around the world from that. 
Yes, and you've been doing an amazing job. And I just love your story because a lot of us, we have backgrounds and I think our parents are just vessels that get us here. Yes. So regardless of who, who raised us or, you know, uh, the, the persons that imparted a part of our lives, like that's neither here nor there. And I love that your grandfather had that effect on you. Amazing story. I love hearing it. So tell yes. us about confidence tones. You know, I'm a huge proponent of meditation and the importance of reprogramming our subconscious mind. I find a lot of people when I ask them, do you meditate every day? They say no. And to me, I'm like, huh? Right. <laughs> How right. do you right. not? So tell us the importance of that in our subconscious mind. You know, you got different ways to reprogram. They say from zero to seven, that's when the subconscious mind is really set up and the foundations run the adult runs you through your teenage years, through your young adult years. And then you find these people that are walking around as middle-aged adults, senior citizens that are living in a seven-year-old subconscious mind. Yes. And when I figured that out, that's what changed my whole life. You know, my dad, like I told you, my mom and dad were nuts. My mom was going to leave my dad when I turned seven because uh, whatever their reasons were. Well, my dad went and grabbed a gun, went in front of my mom, and, and pointed it towards her and at the last second turned it on himself and tried to shoot himself in the heart. Mm -hmm. And I was close by. Oh, wow. And it, but it didn't, he, did, he didn't die. What's so crazy about this is that he shot himself and didn't die. And I can remember Ebony at the hospital looking through that glass window, seeing my dad sitting there all stitched up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was wondering, why did my dad want to leave me? And so I couldn't figure it out. Shortly thereafter, my mom grabbed my four-year-old sister, disappeared, didn't leave nothing but a note. So now my dad shoots himself. He's healing. I'm staying with my grandparents. My mom and my sister are gone. And that just rocked me to my core. Mm -hmm. Well, because of the love of my grandparents, it kept me together. Mm -hmm. But no matter what I would accomplish, Ebony, I could never be happy, ever. I know that feeling. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like I had all the accolades, people like I'm in the newspaper all the time, this super athlete, but man, I just couldn't be happy. And when I began to study that it had to do with my subconscious mind and look back and I was, and you know, Aristotle says, give me a boy until they are seven and I will show you the, the adult. Yes. I'll show you the man. Yep. And I was yep. like, that's me. I'm that seven year old traumatized little boy in this human adult body that everybody thinks got it going on. Well, I wanted to be happy. And so I started researching and I found things like affirmations and like hypnosis and like meditation, as you said. And yeah. then what hit me the, the, the most was when I found out about brainwave entrainment, which is where you can utilize sound frequencies because really our brains are just waves. You know, you got this matter, but if you don't have the waves going through your brain, then what do you have? You have a dead brain. You see yeah. those those TV shows where that person's sitting there and they're in a coma. Yeah. They're living, but their brain is not activated. Like what is keeping them alive is breath, but what's making them live life is their brain. Yes. Yeah. And they're specifically your subconscious mind. So I just started studying all the different intricacies of that. Once I figured it out, I created a program for me. I called it Confidence Tones Foundation because I said, let's go to the foundation. And I said, I got to do this in a three-part step because it takes about 21 days for this to work for me. And then I found out that most people that do it, it works for them. That's what's been reported. Because you know you can't make no guarantees. This crazy ass, uh, excuse me, but this crazy... <laughs> We like this, flavorful language over here. Right. I mean, <laughs> this crazy medical system, man. Yeah. Look, you get these waves right. You get things like your delta and your thetas working right. And you yeah. mix in your yeah. betas and your gammas at the right time. You yeah. literally can retrain your subconscious mind. So I created confidence tones for myself. It worked. That pain, mm, that, that whole bitterness of my mom, my dad is gone. I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Like literally, I look at them and I look at them with empathy, Ebony. That's what that's what happened to me. 
Yes. Wow. Oh my God. My heart felt that whole story. And, and exactly what you said that people are walking around in little kids' bodies. I watched my grandmother die mm -hmm. last year. And when she would get upset, you would think she, I mean, she would act like a, a toddler and she was in her late eighties. So I think that was important for me to see, cause I hadn't seen her for so long. And then when I saw her, you know, right before she died, I think God was just, you know, imparting upon me the importance of doing this work, it, not only for others, but on ourselves first. Cause like you said, yeah. We can have all the accolades. And I used to speak, turn your pain into power, turn your pain into power. And I remember reaching a wall like that in my life where I felt like, okay, I have all this power, but I feel I'm not happy. Nothing makes me happy. I do an event, the event's over and I'm just like, oh, you know, what's next? What's next? What's next? But I wasn't happy and I had no peace, no peace. Really, really the peace in part and really in 20, the end of 2019, 2020, where I was like, okay, we need peace. We need actual right. peace. So right. um I just love that. And I've been listening to the confidence tones. I probably almost. How, 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 do, you like how do you like them? I love them. I love them. I just love meditation. And for me, that's my go-to. You know, I don't, I've noticed that a lot of times, you know, I, I learned this a while ago about myself was like, you know, you get in the car, you might put on music, but you feel anxious inside. So being in touch with yourself. Right. And it's like, well, don't put the, don't put Beyonce on. I need to listen to some confidence tones, you know, because your brain is, li it literally slows it down and you just feel the shift. Like automatically you feel the shift. And I think what I've learned with people is they don't pay enough attention to their body to know yeah. I feel anxious. They don't, you right. know, they, they think their thoughts and they like, these are my thoughts and these are mine. And I feel this and I feel that, or they just don't know they're on autopilot. So I've yeah. had enough learning to know that we just can't make excuses for that and we have to be willing to change and to me i think people doubt this type of work so much because it's so simple yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> think think it's cool people or they think it's new age they think i'm like man, man this is like you better get yourself healed yes you yes get yourself yes. happy you know my thing is get happy yeah what is, like, like tell me i always ask people are you happy yeah you'd be amazed if you just walk up to strangers hey, excuse me how you doing like are you happy People look at you like, <laughs> like they look at you weird, like, why the hell are you asking me? Am I happy? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Like for real. But then yeah. if I ask a person, can you tell me the steps to be happy? Mm -hmm. so people can't hardly put it together. No. They'll go all over the place. Yep. And most of the time they go to things they just don't know. They're going off a tradition what somebody else said. I, I'm like, listen, if I got a systematic way to help you be happy, in about 21 days or less for about 11 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Would you want to know more about it? Yeah. Okay. That's called confidence coach. Yeah. And it's an emotional breakthrough. Even that question, are you happy, could break some people down because then they start really thinking about it like, you know, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, I mean, not I'm, happy. I'm, all, I'm all in on it. My wife will tell you, we got this agreement. We got to be happy, period. Yeah. If we ain't happy, we don't have nothing. My greatest wealth is my happiness. Mm -hmm. I got more. My son goes, I said, son, how much you love me? He's seven years old. He's got this word that he goes, he goes a gazillion, billion, trillion, million, billion, zillion, gazillion, 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 my mills and them, my million percent. Well, okay. That's what you should feel inside with happiness. A gazillion, million, billion, zillion, billion, billion, billion. Like yeah. little, this little happy seven-year-old telling me unlimited is what's available yeah. to us. Yes, which is why I love kids, because they always bring you back to center. My son did it to me this morning when he asked me a question. But anyways, let's get into you. talk. So we talked about the confidence stones. You said you you um, you know, you that's a foundation of just your day. But tell us about habits that keep you successful, because I find that a lot of people um, for me, I find like it's the simplest habits that keep me in a space of moving forward, of faith, of belief, of trusting myself. And it's the simplest thing. It's not me buying anything all the time, even though I do believe in investing in mentors and coaches. I think that's important, extremely important. But what are the, the, the habits that you have every day that make you successful? I learned to think the way I want to think, which is backed by the science of getting rich. It's the most impactful personal growth philosophy ever so to be able to think the way i want to think mm -hmm. so if i ask people that are listening here now do you think the way you want to think the uh, na the natural reaction is well of course because i'm here thinking mm -hmm. but my question is is that the way you want to think yeah <clears throat> 
why do you think the way you want to think? So when people say, what do you mean think the way you want to think? I say, How, are you ever frustrated? Mm-hmm. And people are going to say, what? Of course I'm frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not thinking the way you want to think. Because yeah. if I gave you the option to not be frustrated or be frustrated, pick one. Mm-hmm. They go, well, not frustrated. So you're only frustrated because you're not thinking the way you want to think. Mm-hmm. And see, to think the way you want to think, you're going to have to learn how to hold Sustained consecutive positive energy. Sustained consecutive positive energy. Sustained consecutive positive thoughts. Let me be more specific about what energy I'm talking about. Sustained consecutive positive thoughts. Can I hold a positive thought and sustain it continuously without ever going to the negative? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's possible? What are most humans going to say, Ebony, if I ask that question? They say no. (laughs) No. And those humans, a lot of those are the spiritual people that go read in the scriptures that all things are possible. Well, I'm like, well, if you don't think that's possible, why are you reading a scripture that says all things are possible and then choosing to say it's not possible about two seconds later? Mm -hmm. You know what that's called? It's called being double-minded. So how to become single-minded the way you want to be single-minded is going to require effort and energy. So I I literally studied this book, The Science of Getting Rich, this exact copy, my publishing company, we created this version to take out all the masculine language, put it more universal. And then I just, when I get in here and I start digging, which Rhonda Byrne from The Secret says she read in 90 minutes, changed her whole life, helped her create The Secret. I just learned that, you know what? When he said, if, if if I can think the way I want to think, then it's I'm going to be completely happy because thinking the way you want to think and when you think the way you want to think is so critical. When I say when, when means the only time there is, is now. Mm-hmm. That's it. So if I think of no other time, I don't think in my past, I don't think in my future, I might do some plans towards my future. I will not let my emotions go towards my future, except when I'm doing meditation to visualize what I'm creating. Mm -hmm. But to think about rushing or panicking or stress, I'm never going there in my future ever. I only stay now I don't even put any energy. So when you heard me say a while ago, I said, my dad shot himself. Watch my face. Watch this. My dad shot himself. Mm-hmm. What do you see me doing? Smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> see? Because I will not let that go to a negative thought. Yeah. That's that's discipline. That is discipline. So do you do you listen to confidence tones every morning when you wake up as well? Get up and put my headset on. Because what I do, I'm, I'm also a rogue scholar, so I translate original languages every day a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I at least do translations of original languages. So like original earlier writings, I do. I get up every day with, you know, paleo, ancient Hebrew, Greek text, Aramaic, and then I start, but I put my confidence tones on. And while I'm doing it, I just got it flowing. And I'm doing my little translation every morning. So you also talked about affirmations. So I am, did you eventually, um, you know, you did it consistently enough that it's not something that you had to consciously keep implementing on a daily basis? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah. It becomes automatic. I'm I'm unconscious competent now with my affirmations. Amazing. Like literally, like like if if ever anything that feels like there's a slip, I will literally hear there's a thinking stuff from which all things are made, which in its yeah. original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the inner space of the universe. A thought held in this held in this space will create the thing that is imagined by the thought. My imagination is all positivity right now, right here. I'm abundant. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. It yes. just says it. And this is why I need everyone listening to listen to the, like, trust that there is a power of affirm, uh, affirmations because your mind does do that. If you say, if you're consistent enough, it does start hearing the negative thoughts and it's like, no, no, wait, come back, come back. Um, yeah. So we all want to be like you when we grow up. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. I have one more question. Of course, this is called soul chat, right? So can you leave us with a soul tip or a quote that you stand <clears> on <throat> us so much already today? But I know that you 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 probably have a bunch of them, but just a foundation of, you know, uh, 
how you operate because the thing that I love the most about you is wisdom is the wisdom you impart. You have a sense of faith and strength. And then, you know, like everything else you do is just like that byproduct of that. But you just have a sense of, you know, this is just an unshakable self-love and wisdom. So I love that so much. And can you just leave us with one tip for the Soul Chat community to take with them, you know, 2023 and beyond, not just 2023, but forever, because we want to be at that level where we are, we have switched our mind to thinking the way that we want to think right. <laughs> always. <Yeah. clears throat> this is critical. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time is not as long as you think. Like I live in that moment. You know, back in the day, the culture club had a, a song called Time Won't Give Me Time. Mm -hmm. You see, t time is not as long as you think. Mm -hmm. So many times to put the work in, people think if I say, give me six months. Oh, give me six months. Well, all I want you to do is look six months ago. How fast did six months ago go by? So even though your conscious mind, your untrained mind will go ah, to when it comes time to put the work in to create the change and the happiness you want. If you think about it, almost every person, when you say this is the time and the commitment it's going to take to put this work in to create the change you want and the natural mind goes, ah, look how long that is. And then you ask the question, well, do you remember five years ago? And then they go, yeah. How fast did five years go by? What do people do? Yeah. Went by that fast. It sure does. Okay. So time is not as long as you think. So when I say, give me 21 days of discipline. And if you go, well, that's an untrained, unsuccessful, going to be unhappy thought process and posture and being. If I say, give me 21 days and I want you to focus with me for 21 days and you go, absolutely, let's go. You're beginning to understand that time is not as long as you think. And so I can put this time in. It's going to go by quicker than I could ever imagine. That means I'm going to be who I really wanted to be faster than I ever imagined rather than put the time, effort, and energy into thinking the time is so long when it's not. Mm -hmm. That is the absolute truth. I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> it was that funny was when I said it. I, when, I said, when I said it, I saw you go. Yeah. You went some, <laughs> Ebony, where'd you go? When I said that, where did you go? Now let me do a little interview. Where did you go for that? What, you it's went just, somewhere for a second. Yeah, because it's that realization. I think I think of my kids, especially as a parent, you know, it's like they're newborns and then, you know, I have a 13 year old, right? It's like you just that it just it's compressed you know so I don't personally have that mindset of like oh you know like this gonna like honestly I'll spend the rest of my life working on myself you know for me it's not that's what we have is time so when you said that it, it also was just uh that statement in itself brings you into the moment yeah. right because you're over here you're over there um you know I'm I'm uh well, I'm not going to say it yet on the podcast, but I have other things unfolding that, you know, I'm like planning and making sure I stay in the energy of now. So that just like really brought me back to the energy of now, because this is all we have. And this is, it's funny you said that this is my, one of my latest of uh, many books on my, wow. on my shelf, The Power of Now, The, uh, the Power of what's that, What's that, what's that, that, that worst is The Power of Now. Yes, by Eckhart Tolle, now. Spell, spell, ba spell now backwards. One, because <laughs> we are winners. And my book is coming in on Wednesday, The Science of, of Getting Rich. And that actually is one of the ones I have found the most effective for my mindset when it comes to growth. Like thinking real rich to me is a little too, <laughs> like the stories and everything, they're all great. That's all amazing. But The Science of Getting Rich to me is basic. It's for everybody. Yeah. It's very simple. <laughs> and I like simple. So I just want to thank you so much for coming onto the podcast. I know that the community is going to love this so much and they're going to take it away and they're going to really choose. But before we leave, we have an event coming up December 11th, 10th and 11th. Yep. 10th and 11th. That I need people to be at. <laughs> Miami, Florida, xpmsummit.info, xpmsummit.info is the Elite Entrepreneur Summit. Myself, Forbes Riley, 
damn pillar powerhouses. I've got probably about 10, 12 different major influencers that combine. We've done billions of dollars in revenue. We've helped train multi-millions of people. And we're coming to one place to be able to spend two straight days of just intense, power-packed, fun, motivated. You'll be more motivated than you've ever been in your life, guaranteed. And you will have a transformation, guaranteed, in 48 hours that will last you a lifetime. I've been doing events in like uh, so 20 countries at least I've done big seminars in around the world. And every time we do them, it just creates so many breakthroughs. And so I'm just like, get there, figure out. It's a tax write-off. It's in Miami, which means most of the country, there's a big cold front coming through for the most of the country, but not in Miami. So get to Miami to where you can have a beautiful tax write-off, have a great time and get some sun. Can't wait to see you there. Yes. And you guys need to be there. Listen, I just joined the clubhouse rooms and that's enough. 90% of the day. So actually being in person, it's not only just building connections, but a lot of us need that transformation to really That's head nice. over to that next level. You got to get around people who are doing it. So Jay has so many different things that I'm going to actually put in the show notes. Uh, the XP Mentor community is only $8 a month. If you do not invest in that, you guys, like I'm telling you, um, like find the $8, like go find pennies if you have to, to pay for it every month. Like I don't care what you do. You need to be a part of XP Mentor. Um, I'll put the book and everything else into the, the show notes for everyone to definitely tap Ooh. into. Thank you, you guys for tapping in as always your payment for this is leaving your review sharing it with a friend don't keep it to yourself that is not the rule of abundance you have to share so sharing is caring jay nolan thank you so much and everyone have a blessed and amazing day